Very modern. groovy. Very groovy indeed. But not as groovy and cool as our first author. Well, let's meet our first author. It's David O'Doherty. David O'Doherty. David, you are very, 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 very welcome to the loft. You are here to tell us about this fantastic book, Danger is Everywhere. I'm cool and groovy. I am cool and groovy. You guys have said it, so no one can ever take it back. No one will ever take this back. Now, please, tell us about this book. I have written a book with my friend, Chris, who can draw pictures. We, uh, we have a next door neighbor called Dr. Noel, and uh, he is a dangerologist, who is someone who, who you might see fun or adventure in the world, just sees terrible things. This is him, things. Dr. Noel's there. Possibly. Look, he's ready for it. He's got his wellies on. He's got his danger onesie. He's got a helmet. Say, look, the bathroom. You're thinking there's nothing very dangerous there. What about there's an animal called a toothbrush snake, which if you don't know about it, it looks like a toothbrush and it sneaks into your bathroom and lies no, beside no, 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 no. your toothbrush. If you put toothpaste on it and lift it, it shoots up your nose. She's and the funny. only way to get it down is you have to play a trumpet. Mm -hmm. So this is important stuff that nobody knows about. This stuff is so dangerous, you guys. Whew. Scary stuff. What do you think of this, Ellen? Very dangerous. Oh, please, I can't even think of this. Please ask him the next question. It just stressed me out completely. So, give us a bit more information. What is a dangerologist? Well, firstly, can I say that this chair is quite dangerous as well. I'm just... No, no, I'm, a, I'm, I'm Something awful could happen. A dangerologist is a person, Ellen, who just sees awful things happening all of, say you're sitting on the loo, you're thinking, not much dangerous happen there. You know, what, about if a sh what about a toilet shark, which is a shark that can jump up out of the loo? So Look, if, this, if this you, is a toilet, how works this? It shouts as well. If you eat a sandwich on your loo, remember never ever do that. And also if you're in the bath, say beside the loo, remember always keep the loo the door of the loo, the seat of the loo, the door, the, the, door, door. <laughs> the, <laughs> the seat door down, because it could jump up and jump into the bath, and then you have to try and hit it with shampoo bottles. You probably have to squish shampoo in its eyes. Imagine if there's a shark in the bath. You guys, this, this is serious stuff. I'm sorry to have shocked everyone so much. Please, with this danger. We need to do it. Calm down a little. Calm down. Well, how can kids? be prepared to deal with this sort of danger? Well, you've got to, uh, you've got to study your dangerology. You've got to know things like, say, walking to school, okay? What happens if you meet a polar bear? Walk <gasps> to school, yeah. You, you, you might think, try and run, you can't run away. You can't like jump in a river and swim away because they're better at swimming. You can't climb a tree, they're better at climbing. What about your own pets? Could they be dangerous? Absolutely. I mean, a problem with, uh, say, is that a dog or is it a baby wolf? Will you wake up one day and your little kitten is a full tiger? How do you know this won't happen? Uh, there's a few ways. I would say with a cat, number one, instead of going meow, does your cat go Rah! like that? That would be one big giveaway so loud that the pictures all shake on the walls. Number two, has your cat ever eaten any of your friends? That is a big giveaway that it may be a tiger. Number three, when you put on like a nature show on the TV with actual tigers in it, does your cat come over and just lie there and it's crying because it misses its friends? It's like, well, I remember them. So this is all, this is how you can tell. This is Sim dangerology. Simple things we can be aware of to reduce the danger. <laughs> Simple yeah, things. the danger. Okay, so what is SPLOD? Uh, can I just say, firstly, Alan, your questions are much better. Uh, Splod is the secret codes that dangerologists use to describe different things in the world, such as lofting is a big part of dangerology, which is looking out for a danger. Then uh, podumbing, which is pointing out where danger might be. And then there's Mr. Weeps dying, which is making sure there definitely isn't danger where everyone else is pretty sure there isn't any. So this is stuff that only dangerologists know. What about know. the DAD? Yes, Gustav, that is a dangerology alerting device, which is what non-dangerologists would just call a whistle. So uh -huh. dangerologists always carry a whistle. So if they see a polar bear or a tiger or a toilet shark or a toothbrush snake, toot, and then other dangerologists in the area know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how can you tell if your teacher is a vampire? Oh, well, there's a few different ways of being, I mean, everyone knows Vampires are scared of garlic, okay? So you might bring in your teacher a present of some garlic bread. Maybe Fantastic. Pizza. Totally Delicious. So, Delicious. So, <laughs> something like that, exactly. Uh, another way to tell is, uh, does your teacher, you see, you guys, 
It's not spoken out very much, but vampires do incredibly loud farts, okay? No! But, no! Whereas most people's farts go like this, like... Yeah, a vampire fart goes like this. Like when a truck passes another truck on the motorway, or when a ship sees a lighthouse, it's a... So you've got to get your teeth. So you'd have to give your teacher. So what's a farty thing? Maybe some beans or some sparkling water, something mm. like that. And then just listen out. And if you hear, mm, then you better tell your headmaster David, this, immediately. This all sounds very incredible. Is there somewhere we could go to hear you speak more about this? Perhaps in Galway? Uh, yes, there is. At uh, 11.30 on Saturday morning, I will be talking and reading bits from Dangers Everywhere. Uh, at Easons on Shop Street in Galway as part of the Galway Comedy Festival. It's free in and if, if, we expect if, everyone to come. If we were not in Galway, but perhaps we were in a school with a projector, could we hear you talk? <laughs> on the 19th of November, uh, <clears throat> Puffin Live is an interactive thing on the internet where if you're, I've got a school with a projector, I'll be delivering and Chris will be drawing live pictures with Helen Skelton from Blue Peter. We were talking about Dangerology. The 19th of November, ask your teacher and maybe you can get an hour off school to learn some Dangerology. David, thank you so much for coming in to tell us about how dangerous everything is.